to the channel. Here we are again back in DCS. Just wanted to quickly run through the uh, AV8B Harrier updates, in particular uh, with reference to the uh, the map, DMT, Maverick, and using all three in unison. Basically what I've done in the mission editor is set up a few targets. I put a, 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 well, a few BTR-80s down on the cross runway uh, just south of Potty. And I've also created an air start in the Black Sea with one waypoint directly in front of the targets uh, so that we can run in and do an attack. So let's go to the cockpit and show you how these work in unison. Right, here we are in the pit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the moving map. And please bear in mind normally that I would set the map up so there is a, a visual map in there. So I'll do that now. So that's map M, map, and here we have the map set up. As you can see on the map, the first waypoint that I set down in the target area is marked on the map by the circle and the dot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press DSEG and that designates that particular waypoint as the target area uh, and puts a diamond around that particular circle. OK, whilst we're here on the left MPCD, let's set up the stores uh, by selecting the Mavericks that we're going to use on the target. So we'll go Menu, Stores. As you can see, we've got the Stores page up. Ignore this particular element. Uh, this is being fixed in the next uh, released update. Your weapon hasn't failed. Now, just to show you, whilst we're in Nav mode, we can't use the OSBs um, to select the rails. I'll just show you that now. As you can see, nothing happens. It's not a bug, it's just the way the systems actually um, interact with one another, and you must be in air-to-ground mode. Once you do that, you can select and deselect using the OSBs, or you can use the weapons panel below. Entirely up to you. My preference is to actually use the OSBs. They're selected, and Master Arms on. So now we're all set to go. Now I'll move over to the right hand MPCD and we'll set up the DMT. Right, here we are on the right hand MPCD and we're going to go menu, select the DMT and as you'll be able to see here the DMT is slaved to the waypoint that I created in the mission editor so it's in the target area. OK, I've taken active pause off now and we're 11 miles from the target when we're a little bit closer, I will uncage the Mavericks, which I believe is uh, left win plus the C key. Once that's done, we will then designate the target. But prior to that, we'll select RMV mode by sensor select forward once. So, let's uncage the Mavericks, because we're 8 miles out. go. We're going to IRMV mode. And as you can see, it says IRMV there, so we're in the mode. What we'll do is we'll increase the FOV. There we go, locked on the target with designate, which is N, and rifle. One missile away. Get down. Okay, so we're back on the ground and in the cockpit, and the closing of the canopy seems to be catching a few people out. Uh, there's obviously a locking mechanism now that's been introduced, uh, which is this little handle here. And to open it, basically, I always use it manually anyway. Um, that pushes the lock lever back. And 
clicking on the canopy side will open the cockpit. Obviously you can press left control C and that will close the canopy for you and the lock lever goes back into the locked position. Now if I press left control C nothing's happening but as soon as I unlock the canopy and press left control C there she goes, slides back and it's as simple as that so that's been introduced. It was introduced a couple of patches ago uh, but it's for those people who probably didn't notice it um, or haven't opened the cockpit in a while. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.